Podcasting. Good morning, Mega Podlings. It's Crazy Joe. And I got a physical media release to talk to you about. Look, let me tell you a story. Let me take you back. Take you back to the 80s. What was the year? Was it 1989? I bet it was 1989. Maybe it was... Maybe it was... Yeah, 1989. I was right. I am so old, I have to take my glasses off to read now. That's how old I am. I think I need, like, bifocals or something. It's a sign, man. It's a sign I'm getting old. But anyway... 1989, local video store. There was nothing better than walking through the local video store and just checking out all the different boxes of VHS tapes you can rent. And I was always enamored with the horror films. I was a horror fan as a kid. And I would walk through and I'd pick up different horror titles and check them out, check out the boxes. I didn't rent a whole lot of horror movies that I hadn't heard of, though. I, I pretty much stuck with the stuff I was familiar with. Why is that? I don't know. Maybe horror felt a little more dangerous. You know, like you'd venture into a comedy you never heard of, but a horror movie you never heard of, maybe that was just going to be a little too gory. Maybe that was going to be a little too disturbing. So maybe there was an issue of being too afraid to venture into new territory with horror because horror was dangerous. Whereas comedy films, you could pick up any weird random comedy and you didn't feel you were going to regret it. You know, like, you know, the worst that was going to happen is the movie sucked, you know, <laughs> but, but a horror film, I was never scared of horror films. This is the funny thing. I was never scared of horror films. They never frightened me. But I was always more frightened that they were going to frighten me. I was scared of being scared. But then I'd watch the movies and I was never scared. I think it's because I'm so into movies that being so into movies, you know how movies are made. You know how special effects are done. You know who different actors are. Very often you've met those actors at conventions. And I think to me... As a kid growing up, I couldn't be scared of movies because I was too well aware of how the movie was made, how it was done. I, I was very conscious of the fact that this is not real. I know who that guy is. I've seen him in 12 other movies. I, I, and maybe that's a deficiency on my part that I was unable to uh, take myself out and just be in the moment. Maybe that's a bad thing. I don't know. Never affected my enjoyment of films. If a movie was good, I liked it. If a movie was bad, I'd say, uh, it wasn't very good. But I never was scared. But I was scared of being scared. I know that sounds weird. Did anyone else have this experience? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious. But there was one movie that I never rented. Never rented, but I was always intrigued by because of the VHS case. The VHS case was three-dimensional. It had a plastic three-dimensional case of of a zombie coming out at you he was 3d he was coming out it was like it was just it was popping out of the of the vhs case and it had a little button that said press here and you pressed here and his eyes would blink red there was like a battery in there and the eyes had lights and they would blink red on the vhs box and this was cool i mean vhs boxes didn't do stuff like that usually so I was a little enamored with this. And I used to pick this box up all the time and hit the button and watch that zombie's eyes blink. Never rented the movie, though. So when I saw that Kino Lorber was putting out Dead Pit, that is the zombie. This is flat, but he used to be on plastic popping out of the VHS case. I don't know if I'll be able to find a picture of the VHS case, but if I can, I'll pop it in here somewhere. Hopefully I can find that. And uh, his eyes would blink red when you pushed a button on the VHS case. So I saw Kino Lorber. Actually, it came out through Code Red, uh, which I guess is a division of Kino Lorber. But I saw Kino Lorber was putting out Dead Pit. And I was intrigued because I, um, I, I picked up this VHS case so many times as a kid and never actually rented the film. And they sent me out this uh, review copy, uh, which was, thank you to Kino Lorber, uh, very appreciative. 
and I checked it out. Now, I got to be honest with you, I, I didn't care for the movie. Uh, it wasn't a movie for me. I did see it was very well reviewed, though, so apparently mine is a minority opinion. This is a fairly well regarded film based on the critiques I read. Uh, let's see, the, the, the write up on the back as it's written is Dr. Ramsey. A deviant who enjoys torturing his patients is killed by a fellow doctor and buried in the basement of a mental health facility. 20 years later, the hospital is up and running again and a Jane Doe arrives at the Institute with amnesia. Upon her arrival, a major earthquake rocks the building and unearths the now undead Dr. Ramsey and his legion of zombie patients so he can continue his work. Uh... <laughs> There's a lot going on in this movie. Uh, it's not just a typical zombie film. It's got this whole thing about this Jane Doe at the mental hospital and her connection to these zombies. And I, I, It's an interesting movie. It's definitely an interesting movie. Personally, I, I, I didn't care for it. <laughs> but a lot of people apparently do. Uh, let's talk about the disc, though. Let's review this disc. The picture, it looks good. Looks very good for a 1989 movie. I don't know if this ever got a theatrical release. I never... I remember it being on VHS. I, 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 don't, I assumed always it was a direct-to-VHS movie. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. If this was a theatrical release, I don't think it got a wide release. The special features on this include a 2, 2K scan from the original negative with extensive scene-by-scene -scene correction. New audio commentary by director Brent Leonard and co-writer Gimmel Evett and star Jeremy Slate. On-camera interview with stars Cheryl Lawson, Jeremy Slate, director Brent Leonard, and writer-producer Gimmel Everett. So there you go. You get, you get some decent special features, good quality picture, and uh, it's a movie that a lot of people seem to really like. I wish I felt the same. And uh, this is a movie that I was kind of, I was enamored with the VHS case, but just watched it for the first time at age 45. <laughs> so it took me, took me a while to get to this one. But I want to thank Kino Lorber for sending me a review copy. You can pick up Dead Pit now. It's available now wherever Blu-rays are sold. Maybe you uh, love this movie. Maybe you, like me, remember that VHS case with the glowing eyes, and maybe you did rent it as a kid, did you? I want to hear what your thoughts of this movie are. Uh, is there anyone out there who loved this film? Because I checked the reviews. This is a well-regarded movie. It just uh, just wasn't for me. What are your thoughts? I'm curious to hear. All right, Dead Pit, available now. Keep wearing those pajamas. Keep wearing those pajamas With the plastic feet Wearing those pajamas, tell everyone you need. Keep wearing those pajamas with the back door flap. Keep wearing those pajamas, don't open it to trap. Oh, it's a trap. Some people call them pigeons, some people call them jammies. They can come embroidered with big money and no whammies. They can have a hundred tiny commander and thomas. But no matter how they look, just keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep wearing those pajamas And now we're having fun Keep wearing those pajamas And now the song is done